Well, now that it's that, what? Let me know what else you guys want to see. No, no, no. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how I did this eye look. This was an accidental makeup look. I decided that I wanted to visit my friends over on the other side of the island. I was just going to go for a nude look but then you know, this happened, this happened, I don't know why. I was really feeling this look so I posted it on my Instagram. And a lot of people liked it and I asked if people wanted to see a video so this is why we have this video so now that that's out of the way if you guys want to see how I did this look then keep on watching I have so many brushes I can't even find what I need so this is the face we're starting off with I'm gonna have my base and my eyebrows only difference I do not have my contour right now and I don't have my blush but we're just gonna save that for the end part of the video. And I am leaving my bake on. So there is a reason for this. It's because today we are using the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I reviewed this a couple videos ago. And I did say that there is so much fallout. So we have this to catch the fallout so we can just brush it off later. My eyes are all ready to go. Um, we are using the Jaclyn Hill palette and we are using three, no, one, two, three, four, five shades from the Jaclyn Hill palette. We take a fluffy brush like this one. It's just your basic blending brush. And then I take a mixture of, okay, let me see. Okay, I take a mixture of this and this and use it as my transition shade. Next, like really quickly, we're jumping into this dark green color right here. So this time, we are changing brushes. I am using the M330 from Morphe and it's like a bullet brush, but it's really like soft, so it's like a bullet. And I just dip the top part of the brush. So because it's tapered, it goes right, the shadow is bad, goes right in my eye socket right here. So I just look for where my, my crease is and then I just stick the brush in and then blend away. So a tip for this one, which is also why I like the tapered brush, is just stay in your crease. Just follow your crease shape. Okay, I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me try to zoom you guys in. But we already have fallout right here. And that is the reason why I just left my bake on there for so long. So that when I sweep it all after, it's just gonna go with it. So it's really basic, just end where your eye ends and then just go all the way in. And then do the same with the other eye. I'm gonna try to explain this in the best way that I can. So this is a tapered brush, right? Instead of going in like what we did earlier, we're gonna take it flat, a little flat like this. And the tip is going just right above where your color ended. And then you just keep sweeping. So this is how I blended this eye look. I am losing a little bit of pigment now because it all went on this side. So we're gonna go back in just very lightly. off the excess and then there also I'm not having a good eyebrow day today they're just they're acting up today so if they look a little weird too we'll just ignore them and then go back in with my blending brush and 
just blend everything out softer. One thing I want to tell people about doing makeup, especially eye looks like this, is to be patient. Honestly, before I was not the most patient person and I was just like, slap it on there. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave this for a little bit and we're gonna jump into shimmer. We are using just the shade right beside it. So this one, it's like this. So it's, is it shimmer? Is it foiled? I don't even know my eyeshadow, girl. I just, if I see it's good, then I'm gonna use it. So to apply that um, foiled shimmery color, we are gonna use a flat shader brush. So yeah, just pick up the pigment and focus it on the middle of your eye, just like so. And you can see that while I'm doing this, there's so much fallout. Look. Right there. Just for the sake of this part, I think I'm going to keep you guys close like this. I know it looks creepy, but that's fine. So next, we're going to go in with a dark shade, which is the last one on this palette. It's this one. And we're going to switch brushes again. We're going to take this small fluffy brush, dip into that black shade, and focus right here on the outer part of our eye. Now we're moving on to the fun part. We are brushing off this bake. Swoop. And swoop it out. I'm taking out, blending out the white powder stuff. We're gonna do two different types of eyeliner. First, we're gonna do a felt tip eyeliner just on top of the eyes. So this time, we are gonna line the waterline. So I'm not sure how many of you guys are com comfortable in doing this, um, but it was easy for me to get used to it. So what you do is you just open your eyes like this, roll, uh, twist up your pencil, and then put it in your waterline like so. and then do my bottom water. Now what you wanna do, remember that flat shader brush that you used for the shimmer color? Just use that to blend out the bottom water line. So next step is we're gonna curl our lashes and put on eyelashes. The lashes I'm using today are from Live Laugh Love Lashes on Instagram. They actually were really sweet and they sent me a discount code. So use Gertie15 to get 15% off. Um, today the lashes I'm using is Dan G. Just look at, look at this. It is so pretty. The reason why I bought this pair is because when I was younger, my nickname was G. Um, I don't know why, like a lot of my friends just gave me that nickname and I really like it. So when I saw that they came out with Damji, I was like, I gotta get that. That's, that's for me. I just moved my mirror in closer because it helps me put my eyelashes on better. But can you guys see the difference that lashes make? This is why I can't live without them. Okay guys, so this is the kind of finished eye look. Um, I lied, we are not just using a five shades from the Morphe palette. We are actually using six. So what I did was I went in with this shade right here, just with my middle, my ring finger, and I patted on the inner corner. Very, very light. Um, I watched one of my old videos that was a really messed up inner corner highlight I'm so sorry for that I'm not that bad at makeup I promise the face is 
nothing out of the ordinary. We are just going to contour, blush, and highlight. So now we're highlighting. I'm just doing a subtle highlight, but highlight however you want this. Blind people, go ahead. I'm just like... So for the lips, I'm not using a lipstick, I am using a lip liner. You can tell it's loved, it's like, it used to be like a pencil. <laughs> but um, this is, uh, oh my god, you can't even see the brand anymore. I believe, oh there it is. It's Milani, it's from Milani Cosmetics and it's in Spice. I heard about this from Patrick Star. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you guys think. It's very strong on the eyes, I know, but everything else is muted, so it kind of balances out. Let me know what other looks you guys want to see. Comment down below or go on my Instagram. Pop a comment somewhere, I'll see it there. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!